Well, hello there, everybody. Hi, my name is Brady Smith, and I'm going to be reading my book, I'm Getting a Shark, for Barnes & Noble Storytime, and I really hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, that's the cover of I'm Getting a Shark, and these are called end papers. I never knew that until I started doing, whoa! I almost fell off my stool. <laughs> wow, who knew that reading a children's book could be so, uh, you know, stunt involved. These are called end papers. All right, here we go. Man, that's a good way to wake up. Um, I'm Getting a Shark by Brady Smith. Hey, everybody. I'm getting a shark. And look, this guy's like, ah, and he almost... He crashes into a mailbox and this guy's trimming his bushes and he's like, whoa, sneak. That's the sound effect, sneak, of uh, bushes being cut. And this lady's like, oh no, and she drops all her groceries and the cat's like, wow, and this guy, he's not being very nice. He's like, Pfft. so she runs out the door and says, I'm getting a shark. I'm so excited, Ralphie. I heard mom tell dad I'm getting a shark for my birthday. Yikes, are you sure? Look at Ralphie, he completely jumped up out of his dog bed. And speaking of beds, look at her cool bed. It's a shark bed. Yes, and there are so many different types. I wonder what kind I'm going to get. There's big ones, little ones, spotted ones, long ones, round ones, zigzaggy ones, striped ones, checkered ones, and some even glow in the dark. Whoa, kiddo, slow down. Let's try and think this through. Robbie's like, I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, I'm thinking it's a whale shark. They are really cool. I would invite all my friends over for a pool party. Like little boys sliding down the tail and they're playing with a beach ball and a unicorn floaty. Wait a minute, we need a bigger pool. Whale sharks are the biggest fish in the ocean, excluding whales, of course, which are really mammals. Did you guys know that? That whales are mammals like us? Oh, oh, or maybe I'm getting a cute little dogfish shark. We could even open up a dogfish grooming salon. Look at all those cute little sharks taking baths and sleeping on the dog beds. And, and Ralphie says, whoa, 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 pardon me, but is your name Ralphie? I don't think so. See that little shark? He's sleeping on Ralphie's bed. Ralphie's like, that's my dog's bed. Hey, maybe it'll be a hammerhead shark. Dad would love that. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Oh, or maybe a mega mouth shark. Ha <laughs> isn't that a funny name? One dollar to look inside. Look at that shark. That shark's like, hey, man, what's going on? Oh, or, or a cute little spotted cat shark. I think you're missing my point here. Sharks are not meant to be pets. Do you think a shark would make a good pet? Ralphie the dog doesn't think so. And I think you're forgetting the whole teeth thing. Some sharks have over 300 teeth that are incredibly sharp, perfect for biting food and defending themselves, which is another reason why a shark would not make a good pet. Well, you have sharp teeth and you're a good pet. <laughs> well, you got a point there. Hey, Ralphie, maybe I'm getting a bull shark. A bull shark? Those are ferocious. Why in the world would you want a bull shark? Go, fish, go. <laughs> well, so it could bite Chucky's butt, of course. Chomp. Ow! Okay. Uh, not only is that a horrible idea, it's just not nice. I don't think having a shark bite my tushy would be very nice either. Just saying. Speaking of being nice, maybe you could help the sharks. Did you know that they've been around for millions of years since dinosaur times? But they could become extinct too. Looking good, Steve. Hey, why, thank you. 
Look at all those really cool dinosaurs and that sharks were there when the dinosaurs were around. I find that so interesting. So, if you like sharks so much, let's focus on ways to help them. Like recycling to keep the ocean clean. Nice shot, thanks. Like never ever eating shark fin soup. Fins look better on sharks. And educating people about sharks so they get more respect. See, look at that. We got a little heart and a little fin. I like sharks, I like them, I like the lemon shark and the zebra shark and the goblin shark, the wabagong. Oh, and I love the great white shark. Look at that little girl, isn't that silly? She's on a skateboard with other sharks skateboarding. That's a wabagong shark. Isn't that a silly name for such a silly looking shark? That's the neat thing about sharks. There are so many different types and shapes and sizes and names. <gasps> Happy birthday! Woohoo! Um, wow, that's, that's an awfully small box. Wait, what is this? It's a picture of a shark. I wanted a real shark. Honey, it is a real shark. It's an adoption certificate for a shark that is swimming in the ocean right now. Happy and healthy, and you're helping it stay that way. Thank you. Isn't that cool that you can help wild animals in their home environment be happy and healthy and safe? And here's a book about sharks, too. Whoa, did you know that sharks have been around since dinosaur times? Hi, Finn. I can't. My arms are too small. Oh, and that some sharks actually have 300 teeth? <gasps> or that the biggest fish in the ocean is the whale shark? I mean, not including whales, of course, which are actually mammals anyway. And that some shark species are almost extinct and need to be protected? Arr! Why do you think Ralphie is so upset? I think it might be because. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. Oh, sorry. I hear you now. And I am ready to help. Isn't that cool when you learn something new and you can apply it to the situation and actually do some good and help stuff? Hey, everybody. I'm saving a shark. And look, it's the same neighborhood and the same street and now everybody's kind of doing their thing. And look at little Ralphie, he says, awesome, right? And now the little boy is petting the cat. The lady has her groceries, mowing the yard. There's a little butterfly from another book I did called You're Missing It, that's also in Barnes and Noble. And a little bird, and this guy fixed his little shrub. And this guy's riding the bike, but he's still not paying attention and about to hit an orange cone that's in front of a hole. And the very last page is this. Did you know there are special organizations that you help animals in need, that let you help animals in need? You can support all kinds of cool animals, lions, zebras, elephants, seals, turtles, any animal you want to help, you can. Ask an adult to get you started and help an animal today. Isn't that cool? That's my book. I'm getting a shark. It's full, obviously, of very colorful, fun illustrations, and it's all done in watercolor, and it has fun educational shark facts. And you can find my book at Barnes & Noble and barnesandnoble.com. Thank you for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. I certainly had a fun time drawing and writing it. And again, sharks need love too. Have a great day, everybody.